Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare ancient Roman con chicla commodiana, a frittata with peas from the fifth book of the Recuquinaria. We start with ingredients. We need the peas, wine, eggs, garum, black pepper, lovage, dill and green shallots. Instead of the dried onions recommended in the original recipe, we used the green part of a shallot, which we picked from our garden, along with the peas and dill. If you don't have a fresh dill, you can substitute it with the seeds or with fennel. The author writes to briefly parboil the peas, so we can infer that he meant to use fresh peas but you can also use dried peas and simmer them until they are cooked through. This recipe is called conchicla, from the Greek conchos, which is a dish made with legumes, peas or fava beans in the Recuquinaria. From the Deipnosophists and the Marshall's epigrams, it seems that it is a simple dish, probably intended for the lower classes, But as always, the author of the Recuquinaria offers rich and complex variations of traditional dishes, and the conchicla is no exception. Some recipes are prepared with just a few ingredients, others are complex, with sausages, meatballs, meat and them, in addition to herbs and spices. The only common element, aside from the use of peas or fava beans, is probably the cooking vessel used to prepare this dish, called conchiclaris in a passage. We grind the spices, mince the dill and shallot leaves, and beat the eggs. The recipe that we are preparing today, although it isn't completely clear in all its passages, gives a result similar to a frittata despite the fact that the proposed ratio between the ingredients, specifically between the peas and the eggs, is rather different from that of a modern frittata. The author recommends four eggs for one sextarium of peas, which is about half a liter. We used fewer peas and only three eggs, making a dish that is intermediate between a modern frittata and the original recipe but there is a wide range of possibilities for this dish that would give an excellent result. Feel free to try and experiment with the ingredients until you are satisfied with the outcome. Garum can be substituted with a Southeast Asian fish sauce, colatura di alici or ancient muria, as well as with a couple of pinches of salt. To learn how to prepare garum and muria from scratch, watch the videos listed in the description below. We pour a good amount of olive oil in a pan, we add the peas, the minced herbs and the spices, and we cook for a couple of minutes, with two tablespoons of garum and a little wine. Then we add the eggs and cook until the eggs are set. To know more about ancient food, read our book, Ancient Roman Cooking, which includes recipes and information about ingredients, sources and methods of processing and preserving food in the antiquity, as well as descriptions of ancient meals and banquets. The full translation of the Recuquinaria is available on our Patreon page, along with articles and other translations of historical sources. If you're interested in the use of herbs and vegetables in historical cooking, we suggest reading our book, Early Italian Recipes, Vegetables, Fruit, Herbs and the Flowers. To learn about the transition between ancient and medieval cooking, read the Observazione Ciborum, Early Medieval Recipes at the Court of the Franks. To know more about medieval cuisine, Check out Libro della Cucina, Medieval Tuscan Recipes and Registro in Cucuine, a Medieval Cookbook. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer and purchase our merchandise. 
You can find all the links in the description below. This frittata was delicious and intensely fragrant with Mediterranean spices, with the delicate sweetness of the peas, perfectly balanced by the saltiness of the garum and the slight acidity of the wine. It would make an excellent appetizer for an ancient meal, or even a good main course, accompanied by a salad with chickpeas and green beans, or cabbage rolls. You find the links to the videos in the description below. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.